might cry. I don't want to wear this in public. I mean, like, seriously, what is this? Kitten <laughs> I am so uncomfortable. What is wrong with me? What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Clever Stop. Hi. Hi. You guys, obviously, you know we love to style each other, ourselves, anybody that will let us style them on this channel. Whether it's cute or crazy, you name it, we've done it. We've done it so much that now we're being tasked with testing our style skills. But the caveat, thanks Bridget, is that we have to style things that we hate. Woo child, and Lord knows that we've been very vocal about things that we hate. These are immediately going in the bonfire. <laughs> this is ugly and you know it is. So not me. Now you guys, these are our opinions. Sure, you might think that you like that or it's not that bad, but we know our styles well enough to know that we do not like these items. Even though technically we don't know what they are yet. But trust me, we have to style two looks based on the things that I hate, Sinead has things she hates, and Drew, Drew's getting kitten heels. Oh, did you think about that? Are you getting kitten heels? You're probably getting kitten heels. Okay, but calm, calm your pit sweats because we are up for the challenge. Mm -hmm. Yes, these items we may not like, but I feel like we can still make something out of nothing. Right. Guys have faith in you guys. Yeah, you say that now until you get your kitten heels. God, say it one more time, Shane. <laughs> kitten heels. All right, let's go see if we can make these ugly clothes cute. Okay, y'all, as you can see, this lovely box has just magically appeared next to me and it contains the ugly ass clothes that I'm gonna style. <laughs> <laughs> I see something that looks like box that says ugly Drew on it. It's not very nice. You're more beautiful than Cinderella. Let's see what's an ugly Drew first, because I'm very, very curious. Nasty. I knew it. You nasty. <laughs> it's a kitten eel. <laughs> this is like a disrespectful, like, yeah, like commit. Okay, so my first item, this isn't even fair. Making a lot of bold choices with thread. These are low rise jeans, which is just very mean. I hate to break it to everyone. I know this is gonna come. It's a very big shock, so I hope you're sitting down. Um, I'm not Britney Spears. I know. I cannot pull off low rise anything. They're not just ugly because they're low rise. They're also like just ugly because they are. Looks like we have a curtain. No, it's a dress. <laughs> All right, so this is a frilly dress. Everybody knows I don't like frills and ruffles, and uh, it's not cute, but that's okay, uh, because at least it's two colors. It's blue and it's white. I feel like I can maybe still somehow style this. Ruffles really upset me, like a lot, so I just don't understand them, but it's not a lost cause, but also no ruffles. Just ever. Next up we have this diarrhea colored. What is this? What is it? What is it? Like whose figure is this accentuating? Nobody's. It's literally just a potato sack. I'm a potato. I could wrap a belt around it and I can maybe, can I cut things? Can I cut it? Fashion and beauty is in the eye of the beholder, okay? And just because I personally would not pick these out on the shelves, maybe somebody would. So there's a market out there for somebody. So I'm going to tap into that person, tap, tap, tap in, as Saweetie would say, and uh, make this my own. The other thing I have to style, oh my God. A denim mid-length skirt. Why? I know, because what pairs with this exactly? A trash can. What is this? This is ugly. Um, it's just not for me. So this is a floral skirt, is what it's called, but it's got giant pineapples on it. It does have birds of paradise plants, which I do have in my front yard. So I do like that. Part of it. I don't like plants on my clothes though. This doesn't look like it's meant to be a skirt. This looks like it's meant to be some sort of like decor item, like maybe like an outdoor pillow cover that they decided to make into a skirt. All right, let's go to the closet, see what we can do. 
Okay, party people, welcome to my closet. I know it's a little uh, overwhelming, depending on what your closet organization skills are, but here we are. This is the atrocity that we are working with. I feel like you get away with wearing this with a swimsuit, you know, just because it's like, it looks like a flip flop, but I feel like that's a little too easy. You know what I mean? Uh, but maybe we will settle on a swimsuit. What about if I just threw on my Wednesday Adams get up and then just, oof, they're so bad. Maybe this? It's a romper, it kind of, oh, these shoes make everything so bad. Let's just do it and put it on. So, I have put on these jeans. I paired it with this bodysuit, which is the only way that I would ever be caught dead wearing these pants. Um, it's awful. I feel like putting like some sort of jacket over this could work. People are gonna think that I have time traveled from the 2000s and man, did I pick a bad year to come to. This is the tough one. I'm just thinking like a chunky sweater would be the smartest thing. Maybe if I put like thigh high boots on. These clonkery clonkers, which could make it maybe look a little bit more edgy and intentional. Edging it up, maybe like some more like chains and like black. Or maybe I should just put a blanket over my entire body. That's also an option. I am officially in my outfit that I styled with, which as you can see from the knees up is really freaking cute. It's really freaking cute. And then I back up and then you see these monstrosities. But look, it still looks like beach vibes, you know, enough where I feel like it's somewhat acceptable that I'm wearing these shoes. I can barely tip my foot over that's so small. Look how, how, oh, at least my toes look good. <laughs> Something about this makes me feel good about how I look, I'm not, I'm not comfortable. I don't, I like might cry. I don't wanna wear this in public. All right, let's call a spade a spade, people. This dress sucks. So I decided to style this ruffle dress with this oversized black jacket because I figure it covers as much of the dress up as possible. You know, makes sense. Um, I put on these black booties, a big black belt to hide some of these bottom ruffles. It's this part that, I mean, like seriously, what is this? So I just tucked that into the belt. <laughs> And I actually just kind of like hid that because I think that the top ruffles you can maybe get away with and it looks more like intentional and looks more like structured. And I put some sunglasses on cause you know, gonna wanna hide. Uh, and yeah. Okay, let's see, let's see what my roommates think. They're on the couch in the living room. Um, what do you guys, what do you guys think about my outfit? <laughs> the whole outfit. <laughs> Okay. My husband just got off of work call. I'm just gonna film his reaction to seeing me. Okay, Sean, can you come look at my outfit? Yeah, thank you. What? What's wrong with it? Seriously? You like this? These are low rise jeans. I think they look great. You were so cute. That was not the response I needed. I'm gonna go in public. So what I'm gonna do is just stand in my front yard because usually there's people walking their dogs and their kids. I'm so uncomfortable. What is wrong with me? Oh, we got a jogger. We got a jogger coming. Oh, we got another neighbor. No, nope, he's just putting stuff in his trash can. All right. I think that counts. Look, you know what? I was very uncomfortable doing that. So I think it counts. It was outside of my house and then I want to die. So I'm pretty sure mission has been accomplished. You know what? I don't feel as awful in this as I thought I was going to. I just think that is so not me. I tried really hard to edge this bad boy up. So let's not even go out. Let's take it one step further and let's have a photo shoot with these outfits. All right, on to outfit number two. Wish me luck. Seriously, wish me luck. Okay, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I freaking killed this outfit. <laughs> like, you guys saw how ugly this thing was before. What is this? What is it? Let me just give you a little reveal, okay? I'm sorry, who is she? Whose burlap sack was this? I mean... Who is she? Okay, so first, as I showed you guys earlier, I cut 
the top so it's no longer a crew neck situation so it would be an off the shoulder neck and then I rolled up the sleeves and then I got this belt with silver accents and I cinched the waist as you can see it's poking out a little bit because I, it wasn't tight enough for me and I cut the burlap stack from the bottom all the way up to my cucaracha basically so I can make this really chic slit and then I just added these little peep toe black heel boot accessories. I did these drop chandelier earrings and I did this really cool like gladiator-esque bracelet. Nice, she is cute. This is way, 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 better. Way better. I rolled this skirt up, which I think is way cuter. I added this fun little leopard print, cheetah print belt. Cute little purple shirt, kept on the, the black boots. My cute little crossbody bag. This feels cute. I feel like I did it. I don't know if I cheated, because it's not midi. I mean, I didn't cut, so it's still midi. It's just, you know. I do like, you know, the, the material, the material of the skirt, it has a lot of good stretch, a lot of give, so that is definitely working in its favor. But did I do it? Did I succeed? You did it. You crazy son of a bitch, you did. This dress, I mean, this skirt, excuse me, it doesn't really matter what it is. It looks like curtains, and I'm not okay with it. My only option, really, just because this was so busy, I had to keep the rest of it simple. It's really hard to put anything with this unless it's like a two piece. So I opted to literally just take my clothes off. This is the bra I was wearing. Uh, it's a sports bra obviously and it's a high neck. So at least it looks a little intentional. And then I put the belt back on, but I actually moved the belt down a little bit to give it kind of like a paper bag effect. So just to try to give it some sort of style. And then obviously my black booties, which I think just kind of helps bring this more to like an edgy look. If you like this print, no shade to each their own. Uh, I would definitely say that keeping it simple helps me feel better with it. So there's that. And I very much dislike it, but I am a good sport. Oh. <sighs> Thanks, Dish. Yeah, of course. It's like not, it's not too bad anymore, right? No, I, no, I think the slit helps a lot. I would pay 30 bucks for that dress. Also, I feel like Rihanna can wear this and everyone would buy it. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I ain't saying it's me. And the accent, the jewelry, mm -hmm. and the belt. I paid them to say all of that. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> it is time for my photo shoot. I am happily on my way this time to go strut my stuff in public very safely, of course, because, you know, but I feel very cute. And you know what goes great with this outfit? Happy hour? Yes. I was gonna say wine, but that is the same thing. We're on the same page, except for that time that you thought those low rise jeans were cute. Okay, you guys, I think there is no question that this look is my favorite. I put my foot in it. She killed this. Lots of good lessons here. Low rise denim is Britney Spears. And that is it, okay? I do not think midi length denim, this denim situation, worked way better by, by making it shorter. But midi length something else, I think I could get behind. I think that this was still a good process. It is always good to practice styling things. I think it is a good skill for everybody to have because sometimes things just don't look the way you think they're gonna look. It feels good. Heck, I might actually just, I might actually wear this. No, I won't, that's a lie. But I feel good. Let us know what you learned from this challenge. I think I learned that I can style the hill out of anything, including a burlap sack. Do you think there's something that could have salvaged those low ride jeans? The answer is no, but please comment if you have magical powers, okay? All right, guys, we will see you next time. And for even more Clever Style, hopefully more stylish than this, we have more videos, so click right over there.